Well, hello, y'all. This is Amber Townsend, and your terrific Tuesday Million Dollar Messenger calling you from the greater Phoenix area. And I'm so super excited to talk to you today. I know many of you guys got to start ordering the new product yesterday, and I sure hope if you have early ordering privileges that you take advantage of it because this product lineup is phenomenal. But that's not what I'm going to share about today. What I'm going to share about uh, is an article. Now, I'll tell you, I am, might be kind of a nerd, and that is totally okay if you guys understand that, is when my husband gets me a Success Magazine for Mother's Day, that is my favorite thing in the whole entire world. And this month's article um, that I'm going to share on that I thought is so perfect, and I think this is perfect exactly for right now. Nathan more recently shared that 80% of women polled in a poll said that even as the mandates start lifting, that they will not feel comfortable going to a counter and trying product. So hear this. You have to know all the big name companies like Sephora and Ulta out there are reeling right now, and they will figure it out. But the game has changed, but Mary Kay has home team advantage, so I absolutely hope that you are capturing the market, that you are becoming overly convenient because we are better than Amazon, we are better than all of those because we bring customer service to a T right to their front door. So understand, this article that I'm going to share is called Love Thy Customer, and it's taking your customer service standards to the highest level. So I'm just going to read real quick the first part and then give you the tips that it suggests because I thought it's it's right spot on, but in this market even more. I will tell you the thing that my mom trained me to do was create a go-see basket. And whenever I needed money, when I was single, sole support myself and my fat cat, guess what? She didn't give it to me. And I was mad at her then, and when she turned around, I made faces at her probably, but I'm so grateful today that she didn't give me money because it taught me. She would say, well, do you have product, don't you? And I said, yeah. She says, you got to go see basket, don't you? And she said, I said, yes. Yeah. I said, well, she, she would say, well, I guess you should go see your customers. And that's what she'd say. And so what I did is I would start every time we'd launch new product, I would create half my basket to be a discontinued discount back part, and then I had all the new products. And I would say, I'm going to be in your area this week. Is there a good time for me to swing by and show you the new summer products? And I would bring the basket, and I would allow them to shop at 50% off if they had four purchasing friends with them. And on average, a 45-minute go-see appointment, I would sell about $450 in product. So, ladies, to me, this is the way we change the game. This is the way we capture the market, is being overly convenient in the comfort of their own home where they can try the new products. I always open all the new products for myself because they're also my sample. So that's what goes into the go-see basket is as a sample, but it becomes mine as well. So here it is. Ready to hear the new edge in business? It's customer love. The key is simple. Stop selling and start connecting. Going beyond the transaction is what keeps you in business. Only 4% of entrepreneurial ventures survive to see 10 years. I'm proud to be one of those exceptions with 18 years behind me as a speaker. This is the person writing this author, this um, article. Before starting it on my own, I spent years in hospitality, even working for Disney, so I have a deep appreciation for customer service. So then it goes on to say, by turning introductions into opportunities and moments into memories, you can create clients for life. Unforgettable experiences improve your brand story, increase customer retention, and stimulate word-of-mouth marketing. I am convinced that this is the greatest time in history to level up your business, and I challenge you to think of your interactions as connect-the-dot experiences that confirm why someone should do business with you instead of the bland customer service encounter they might expect from the bigger, stronger competitors. To understand how to truly love your customers and provide the ideal service experience for them, get to the bottom of the three key questions. Here they are. What is the experience of your business? What is the experience of your business, brand, or service? What is the experience of it? Are, you, are your client connections meaningful or only money-oriented? Are your client connections meaningful or only money-oriented? Third question, where can you create, create an above and beyond moment? Where can you create an above and beyond moment? 
Once you've drilled down those answers to these questions, you can get the, to work on connecting with people. Customers love, customer love is a professional embodiment of intentional empathy, creating a positive emotion imprint and getting extra effort with no strings attached. There are a few primary principles I learned in my career, and here they are. First, see customers as guests. Provide a warm, gracious greeting to everyone and use their name often. Second, personalize the experience. Oh, this is so important. Personalize the experience, and that is about connecting with them. Third, anticipate and uncover their needs. One of the things my mom taught me is when I finish a conversation and it's sales, I always ask, how are you doing on your oil-free eye makeup remover and your mascara? Even if they've never use that in my product line before. I assume they use something. How are you doing on your oil-free eye products, oil-free eye makeup remover, and your mascara? And ladies, I could upsell $40 a product just like that. So that is something that's anticipate and uncover their needs. Women run out of mascara and grab it from anywhere, but if you become overly convenient by asking every time they order, then you'd be able to capture that market. Number four, respond with immediate and appropriate service. This is so important. And this is if you can't get it to them within a day, my, this is my perspective. If you can't get it to them within a day, use customer delivery service and, and decide that that is worth your time to do that. And I do give, if I do have a delivery day. So I do go out on a certain day that I choose for the week, and that's my delivery day. My customers know that, but they also know that they can pick up from my house for a 10% discount. So if they want to pick it up for me, it's a 10% discount because that's my time and my, let's just be honest, remembering to do it. <laughs> so sometimes that is a key too. And <laughs> excuse me, I was about ready to sneeze. Um, and then number five, keep them loyal through acts of kindness. And I believe this is huge. Ladies, I don't have to go into this because this is what our company is about and what it's been about. But through this pandemic, we have – drawn in and behind our computers. And this is one of the greatest ways that you could bring, maybe you bring her a carnation. You know, carnations aren't super expensive, but do something extra. My grandma always put, um, as she had a huge customer base, she always put um, chocolate in her reorder bags and a new joke every single month. So they had a joke that they got to read. If she delivered it to you at work, it had two helium balloons and it was in a gift bag. Make sure that it's an act of kindness. Make them feel special. Mary Kay is so brilliant in saying that every single person has a sign around their neck to just pretend that every single person has it that says, make me feel important. And so, and then the lastly, in the, through the acts of <clears throat> kindness, it says, uh, my partnering, my parting advice for you would be to take the time to see, help, infuse, and praise your clients and customers. First, see your clients for who they are instead of who you think they are or who you want them to be. It's critical to take what someone has to offer without the limitations or expectations. Pay attention to the language they use, the questions they ask, and what drives or excites them. See them. Second, help them. Help the people you interact with where they are, not for what you can gain from where they are going. Often our default is to only initiate what we perceive as advantageous relationships. If this is always the goal, there are, no, there are indefinite opportunities and valuable connections you will pass up from professional time with people. Third, infuse them. Infuse them with hope. Equip, empower, or encourage the guests of your brand or business with the tools to harness their potential and get the most out of what they are doing and where they want to go. Infuse them with hope and then praise them. The fourth one is praise. Praise them for the value and difference they are already making. Never underestimate the power of celebrating others for the little things they do. When you empower others, you create relationships and drive results. And I was recently talking with a consultant, and I said, never forget that you are first selling yourself, meaning that the more you make them feel important, the more you connect with them, the more loyal they will become. Women buy based on trust. And when they trust you because you have helped them feel better, you have solved a need, you have praised them, you have helped them be seen, 
they will purchase from you for the rest of your career and they will turn many clients and new team members your way. And then our product sells itself. But first, the woman has to trust you. So make sure that, ladies, in this time of coming out of this pandemic, that you are focusing on connection because it is so very, very important. So with that being said, hopefully this challenges you to up your game and love thy customer. And um, you can get that article in the new Success Magazine if you want to read the whole thing. I just pulled little tidbits out. Um, but either way, hopefully it was a blessing for you today. This is Amber Townkey and your terrific Tuesday. Million Dollar Messenger signing off. Have a great Tuesday.